Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to run in two to benchmark between the nine largest flagship smartphones released this year. So in the bottom left corner I have the HC10, the LG5, the OnePlus 3, the Galaxy S7 Edge, the Galaxy Note 7, the Xperia X Performance, the iPhone SE, the iPhone 7, and the iPhone 7 Plus. So let's get started. Alright, so all nine smartphones are running now. And you see on the first test here, so the Galaxy Note 7 started a few seconds after the other ones. But as you see, for the most part, they're at the same area. So a lot of these phones have similar, uh, very similar specs. All the Android phones have Snapdragon 820. The iPhone, so the iPhone SE has an A9 and the 7, 7 Plus, 7 A10. And you see now all of them moving on to the second test, aside from the Note 7, which again started a few seconds after the other ones. But do expect to catch up. Alright, so now we're running Gar and Deem. So two of these phones have 2 gigabytes of RAM, the iPhone SE, the iPhone 7. Uh, a lot of them have 3 gigabytes of RAM, including the Xperia X performance, the iPhone 7 Plus, or yeah, actually those are the only two of 3 gigabytes of RAM, uh, the HC10, LG G5, the OnePlus, not the OnePlus 3, the Galaxy, uh, the Galaxy S7 Edge, and the Galaxy Note 7, all four, and OnePlus 3 has the most of six. All right, so some of them are getting close to the halfway point. iPhones now all approaching Alright, so iPhones are in the lead. Doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to score the highest, uh, but it is a good sign nonetheless. So yeah guys, once these are done, I'm going to put the phones over. Uh, and then I will go over the results. So once they start approaching 95%, I'll start booking them over. And I will redo this test once more phones come out. Uh, so, you know, that includes the LG V20, uh, the rumored Pixel phones should be coming out next month. Of course, the Xperia XZ. Alright, so the iPhone's now all around 80%, all the Android's around 70%. And iPhone's just at 90%. Alright, so it looks like the 7 Plus and 7 are going to be the first ones to finish. Let me flip these over. Not miss anything. The last few percent, they don't show any anything aside from some numbers. Flip the SC over. That should say 100% as well.
So the last time I did this test, I obviously didn't have the seven or the seven plus, although the, uh, let's see, the two that did the best were the note seven and one plus three, I believe. S7 Edge is pretty good as well. Let me flip this over. So now some of these are approaching 100%. Pretty quick. All of them kind of hitting 100% at the same time. All right, so all the Android pretty much finishing at around the same time. So now we'll go over the results. All right, so a few surprising here. Coming in last place is the iPhone SE. Score of 125,000. So that right there is not a surprise. Uh, again, two gigabytes of RAM, A9 chipset. Pretty similar to last year's iPhone 6S. Coming in in eighth place. Sorry about that, guys. Let me just turn on the brightness. All right, so eighth place is the Xperia performance score of 137, almost 137,000, 136,931. Coming in in seventh is the LG G5, score of Coming in at 6 is HC10, score of 139,322. Now going into the top 5. So now this was a little surprising in 5th place, Galaxy Note 7, score of 145,271. And the reason that's surprising is because it did get beat by some of the, um, even by the S7 Edge, which I'll show you in a second. May have to do with updates applied. Uh, so next up is OnePlus 3. Score of 145,775. And then again, so beating the Note 7 is Galaxy S7 Edge, score of 147,000 exactly. And again, it made us be because they have more updates to this, uh, more updates to the OS. Not quite sure why, but just a theory. All right, so top two are indeed the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. So really, really impressive score here for the iPhone 7. Broke 180,000. And finally, first place, of course, iPhone 7 Plus. One eighty-one thousand one seventy-nine. So yeah, obviously really impressive score here. Look at the details on that. And so, yeah, this does have one more extra gigabyte of RAM uh, over the iPhone 7. So I think that accounted for the slight increase of score. So just for the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, I'll give you a look at the rankings. So as you may expect, both are in first place on the list. So here's the iPhone 7 Plus. Now I heard that the iPad Pro uh, on iOS 10 it got a better score than you see here. See here it's 177,000 but I heard that on the latest version it has a higher score. And again so on the iPhone 7 again with the number one. And look at the details. And just show you by comparison I'll show you Android. So again, number one is the Galaxy S7 Edge. And look at the ranking list. So you see it is listed number one here. Now yeah guys, I am surprised that this scored the highest of the bunch of the Android phones. But you know, you always get different scores whenever you run this benchmark. 
Could have just been I was using other phones more recently than this one. Alright guys, so hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was helpful. Please subscribe for more content like this in the future because as I mentioned, I will be having the same test once more phones come out. And as always, thanks for watching.